Hi, I'm Catherine Mora. I'm a book coach and I work with coaches, speakers and entrepreneurs to help them write a quality book. And today's topic is what type of book is the best one for you to write? So a lot of people come to me with ideas. They want to write a book, but they're unsure which idea to pick and which is the best book type to write. Are they going to write self-help or are they going to write a memoir? They're not quite sure. So really the main types of books that I work with are self-help business and memoir. So self-help is a great idea if you want to teach the reader directly. So you want to give them advice and tips and share anecdotes and client stories. You can have little lists in there. So it can give you quite a lot of flexibility in terms of things that you include in the book. And it's really good for areas of like emotional stuff or self-development or personal growth or anything spiritual or, you know, all of those sorts of areas that are really quite popular at the moment. And the book can have a variety of structures. So you decide on the reader journey. Ultimately, you know, the reader does what they want to do. But you decide if you want them to start from the beginning and read all the way through or do you want each chapter to stand alone so that they can jump in and out with as they like, you know, to, to cover the topics that they're looking for. And you can even, if you do it that way, you can actually use each chapter as a blog, like or the basis for your content marketing strategy. And you also assume on your reader's level of knowledge. So do they come to you as a beginner and therefore your book starts at the really sort of basic 101 type stuff? Or do they have an assumed level of knowledge where they're up here and then you're building upon that? So those are all things you decide upon and that you can do within the self-help genre. Business books can certainly have the same structure. It's just that the topics generally tend to be different. So it's, you know, finance and real estate or anything medical or, you know, those more sort of business related topics. Uh, in, and it's really just about genre and categorizing on Amazon. That's really only the reason that you need to kind of pick a category, so to speak. But the, in, as I said, the structure can be the same as self-help in that you can have the different ways of organizing your chapters. And then within chapters, you can have lists or tables or anything that might help the reader learn more about the topic that you're teaching. Now, memoir or life story, this is really great for coaches. So perhaps a, a weight loss coach who wants to share their journey of, you know, yo-yo dieting and how they finally discovered mindset and that was the key to keeping the weight off. Because any kind of memoir allows the reader to get to know you before they decide to work with you about something that might be quite personal. So it is good for those more personal related topics that people are struggling with. You know, perhaps a, a business coach could write a mentor, the, a memoir, sorry, if they have had a really crazy journey of business, like maybe how they succeeded and how they failed and learned from that failure to succeed again, that sort of thing. Because then the potential client or the reader can see that journey and, and it gives them credibility to what they are now teaching with their mentoring. But a, mem a memoir is great for just letting your reader get to know you before they decide if they want to work with you. So it can be very powerful. Now, I know that you might be thinking, oh, well, my life is not that interesting. Why would I write a memoir? But remember, this is aiming for people who might want to work with you. And where you were five years ago, 10 years ago, and how it compares to you are now, your reader could be where you were five or 10 years ago. So in fact, your story could be very inspiring to them. And there are certainly different ways that you can structure your book in terms of the timing with a memoir. That's one of the things I love doing is picking where the book should start and what the things are to include right through to where you are today. But your story can certainly inspire someone who's where you were years ago and they want to be where you are now. So don't discount your life story as having potential. And all of my clients who have written them always get surprised that there's more than they think once they, once they sit down and start nutting it out, they say, wow, there is actually quite a lot to cover. So if you've got an idea for a book, Starting on getting the idea, progressing the idea, starting the book and then actually finishing it are very different things. So I am here if you want to talk about your book idea. I'm here to brainstorm with you or to let you know if I think the book actually is a good move for you right at the moment. Perhaps it won't be. Perhaps another tool would be good in your business at, at the moment. And yeah, just comment below. Send me a message. I'm happy to have a chat and talk about your book and, and where you could go from here. So I will see you in the next video.